It was a pleasure to burn. It was a special pleasure to see things eaten, to see things blackened and changed. With the brass nozzle in his fists, with his great python spitting its venomous kerosene upon the world, the blood pounded in his head, and his hands were the hands of some amazing conductor playing all the symphonies of blazing and burning to bring down the tatters and charcoal ruins of history. With his symbolic helmet numbered 451 on his stolid head, and his eyes all orange flame with the thought of what came next, he flicked the igniter, and the house jumped up in a gorging fire that burned with the evening sky red and yellow and black. He strode in a swarm of fireflies. He wanted above all, like the old joke, to shove a marshmallow on a stick in the furnace while the flapping pigeon wing books died on the porch and lawn of the house, while the books went up in sparkling wind whirls and blew away uh, uh, on a wind uh, turned uh. dark with burning. Montag grinned the fierce grin of all men signed and driven back by flame. The fireman? How oddly you say that? I'd, I'd known it with my eyes shut. What? The smell of kerosene? <laughs> my wife always complains. You never wash it off completely. No, you don't. Kerosene? It's nothing but perfume to me. Does it seem like that really? Of course. Why not? I don't know. Do you mind if I walk back with you? I'm Clarice McCollin. Clarice? Guy Montag. What are you doing out so late? How old are you? Well, I'm 17 and I'm crazy. My uncle said the two always go together. When people ask your age, he said, always say 17 and insane. Is it a nice time to walk? I like to smell things and look at things and sometimes stay up all night walking and watch the sunrise. You know I'm not afraid of you. Why would you be? So many people are. Afraid of firemen, I mean. But you're just a man after all. So, do you mind if I ask? How long have you been working as a fireman? Uh. Since I was 20, 10 years ago. Do you ever read any of the books you burn? <laughs> no, that's against the law. Oh, of course. It's fine work. Monday burn Malay, Wednesday burn Whitman, Friday burn Faulkner. Burn the books, then burn the ashes. That's our official slogan. Is it true that long ago, firemen used to stop fires instead of starting them? No. Houses have always been fireproof. Strange. I heard that a long time ago that Fires were burned by accident, and they needed firemen to stop the flame. Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> Why? You laugh when it hasn't been funny, and you always answer me right off. You never just stop and think what I've asked you. You're an odd one. Haven't you any respect? I don't mean to be insulting. I just love to watch people too much, I guess. Well, doesn't this mean anything to you? Yes. Haven't you ever seen the jet cars racing down the boulevard that way? You're changing the subject. I sometimes think drivers don't know what grass is or flowers because they never see them slowly. If you showed a driver a green blur, oh yes, he'd say, that's grass. A pink blur, that's a rose garden. White blurs are houses, brown blurs are cows. My uncle drove slowly on a highway once. He drove 40 miles an hour and they jailed him for two days. Isn't that funny and sad too? You think too many things. 
I rarely watch the parlor walls or go to races or fun parks. So I've got lots of tr time for crazy thoughts, I guess. Have you ever seen the 200 foot long billboards in the country beyond town? Did you know that once billboards were only 20 feet long, but cars started rushing by so quickly that they had to stretch the advertising out so it would last? I didn't know that. But I know something else you don't. Know. There's dew on the grass in the morning. Oh, one more thing. Are you happy? Am I what? Happy. Of all the nonsense.